on YouTube. Um, okay, I'm in a really silly mood today. Um, I have a few things that I want to update you guys on. Uh, number one is my weight loss. That way, you know, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, you can turn it off. Um, so, weight loss. I started this journey at 449 pounds for the day of surgery, 469 two weeks before, prior to surgery. Can't talk today. What's new? Um, and I have officially lost half, one half of myself. I am so absolutely stunned and amazed that I have accomplished that. Not 50% of my excess body weight, 50% of myself. If I were to take 449 pounds divided by 2, wow. It's amazing. Um, Wow. I never thought I would see the day that I would lose half of myself. Obviously, I still have a long way to go. Um, I will add on to the end of this video two pictures that I took today so you can kind of see um, my full body shot. Um, though, I don't think the pictures do me justice because my pants are baggy and my shirt's really baggy, so like you don't get to see like whatever. I still think I look cute today. Um, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of excess skin. Um, my arms are really saggy. I mean, look at this. Look at that. But when I make a muscle, I mean, they are really, really thin. I mean, you can see, like, like that. And then this is all, like, skin that just hangs down. I'm a 29 year old with like excess skin on my freaking chin. I mean obviously if you've lost 200 pounds you're gonna have extra skin. And then this arm, oh this arm you can see it a little bit better because of the way the light hits. But I mean this is all skin that just hangs down and I don't, I, the, yeah there's a little bit of fat still left in there. Um, but holy shit this was all this was all full before, and, well, you can't really see it on the camera, but you can see my collarbones and everything. Um, I don't know. I, I have a lot of skin. My legs are disgusting. So, Fashion Bug is having a buy one, get one for a dollar sale, and I went and bought some capris, um, size 18, so really excited about that. Um, never, ever, ever in a million years thought that I would be in a size 18. Remember how excited I was when I got into a size 24, and that's the size I was wearing in 7th grade? I can remember in 4th grade, my mom taking me to the women's department and having to buy a size 20. And I bought these really hideously ugly, like, purple and, um, forest green jeans in the women's department of Sears. Or Daisy Penny is one of those two. Um, so to be able to walk into a store and buy a size 18 is amazing. Oh, 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 oh! Have to tell you guys this too. Um, this tank top, which is really baggy, is an extra large, which means I can probably move down to like a large in some clothes from some stores. Um, so like. Uh, I don't know, Target, Old Navy, all of those places, I can wear, like, a large shirt. I'm, it's amazing. Um, okay, so I've lost half of myself in a size large, 18, uh, really excited, um, very good. My second update is about my job. Um, as you all know, I work in a salon and I do nails my beautiful acrylic that I did on myself yesterday. Isn't that cool? Um, I found this 
green glitter at Michael's and decided that I was going to add it to my clear acrylic yesterday when I was doing my fill. Um, so I could be springy. Yay! I love it. Um, so I have my green friends. See? Do, do, do. I swear I will do a tutorial eventually. Maybe I'll do a glitter tutorial. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. I promise you, promise, 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 I will get it on here. I will. I swear. Okay, so. Back to the salon. Um, I got a phone call last night. They want to raise my rent by almost double. And, yeah. I'm going to start infertility treatments here in about three weeks. Two and a half weeks, three weeks. And, um, I'm going to drop down to one day a week, really, when I start that. Because... I'm going to be going, like, every other day for treatments, and I'm not, I'm not going to sacrifice starting a family just so that I can work full-time to cover my rent. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous, and so I don't know what I'm going to do. I talked to my friend who owns a salon that I used to work at, like, five years, six years ago, I think six years, I don't know, um, and I love the people that work there, I get along with all of them, and my, one of my best friends still works there, actually my hairstylist still works there, and, um, I mean, she's offered me a position to rent there, um, one day a week, I might do two, it just depends upon how everything goes, um, and we'll just have to see. I mean, it's a lot of stuff is up in the air right now, and I'm not going to really stress about it, but I have a feeling I'm going to end up going up to Salon Beleza um, to work with Amber and Mary and everybody up there. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it would be a good opportunity for me. I would obviously, I would lose a couple clients because it is further for them to drive. Um, but most of them live up towards that area. Um, it's a hard decision. I mean, you're talking about leaving a salon that I've been at for two years. Um, my teaching and working for entity would probably not continue because family comes first and I've waited for this for a really long time um, hard decisions so that's kind of where I stand on my job and all of that oh Happy, happy week. Oh, I've had my house to myself for a week. My brother's in Tennessee with um, the National Guard doing training and stuff. First fertility appointment is on May 12th, 13th. Let's look. Let's look at the calendar, shall we? On the 13th, 13th at 1 o'clock. So, um, wish me luck, and I will keep you updated on that. Um... I'm really excited. I hope it takes right away. And even though it's a couple, like a month early, um, I wasn't supposed to start trying until June, but whatever. I don't care. Hopefully, I'll get pregnant on my own this month and I won't need the fertility specialist and I'll just be pregnant. But so, anyhow, um, so I'm going to let you guys go because I think this is really long. Um, so, without further ado, here are my uh, most recent photos that were taken today and um, yeah I look really good 